Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Good. Now, please return to your bed. Good morning. You have been in suspension for... Nine, 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 This courtesy call Hello? is to inform you... Hello? Anyone in there? ...subjects should be Kathy and Rick. Ha! Ah! God, oh, God. You look... Te um... Good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? Are, are you... Well, don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please slow. prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm, stay, stay calm, prepare. It's all the same, prepare. It's all fine, all right? Don't move, I'm gonna get us out of here. Oh, you might wanna hang on to something. Word of advice, up to you. You all right down there? Can you hear me? Hello? Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although, if you, do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. OK, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you, just, you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. Apple. OK, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. OK, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You still holding on? The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation centre stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed, you know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of? Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? Have I got enough space? Sorry about the mess. 
I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Sarcasm self-test complete. Oh good, that's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test, which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. This next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner. Well done. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. That's what it says. A horrible person. We weren't even testing for that. Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, Science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. Congratulations, not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. One moment. You are navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them, so feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. 
Give you credit. I guess you are listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. Waddle over to the elevator and we'll continue the testing. This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faith Plate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. Let's see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faith plates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. Sorry, I'm still cleaning out the test chambers, so sometimes there's still trash in them. Standing around, smelling and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. You don't have to test with the garbage. It's garbage. Press the button again.
Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head. Which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. Did you know that people with guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noises? I'm sorry, I don't know why that went off. Anyway, just an interesting science fact. Oh, did I accidentally fizzle that before you could complete the test? I'm sorry. Go ahead and grab another one. Oh, no. I fizzled that one, too. Oh, well. We have warehouses full of the things. Absolutely worthless. I'm happy to get rid of them. Every test chamber is equipped with an emancipation grill at its exit, so that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the test area. This one is broken. Don't take anything with you. I think that one was about to say, I love you. And they are sentient, of course. We just have a lot of them. This next test involves emancipation grills. Remember, I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one. Oh no, the turbines again. I have to go. Wait, this next test does require some explanation. Let me give you the fast version. There, if you have any questions, just remember what I said in slow motion. Test on your own recognizance. I'll be right back.
Imperial Faith Plate in here is sending a distress signal. You broke it, didn't you? There. Try it now. Believe what happened, right? I was just lying there. You thought I was done. Mm. This plate must not be calibrated to someone of your generousness. I'll add a few zeros to the maximum weight. You look great, by the way. Very healthy. Try it now. The bird, right? Couldn't believe it either. You seem to have defeated its load-bearing capacity. Well done. I'll just lower the ceiling. Look at you, sailing through the air majestically, like an eagle, piloting a blimp. Enjoy this next test. I'm going to go to the surface. It's a beautiful day out. Yesterday I saw a deer. If you solve this next test, maybe I'll let you ride an elevator all the way up to the break room. And I'll tell you about the time I saw a deer again.
passed the test. I didn't see the deer today. I did see some humans. But with you here, I've got more test subjects than I'll ever need. These bridges are made from natural light that I pump in from the surface. If you rubbed your cheek on one, it would be like standing outside with the sun shining on your face. It would also set your hair on fire, so don't actually do it. Excellent. You're a predator, and these tests are your prey. Speaking of which, I was researching sharks for an upcoming test. Do you know who else murders people who are only trying to help them? Did you guess sharks? Because that's wrong. The correct answer is nobody. Nobody but you is that pointlessly cruel. Good news. I figured out what to do with all the money I save recycling your one room full of air. When you die, I'm going to laminate your skeleton and pose you in the lobby. That way future generations can learn from you how not to have your unfortunate bone structure. Perfect. The door's malfunctioning. I guess somebody's going to have to repair that too. No, don't get up. I'll be right back. Don't touch anything. Hey! Up here! I found some bird eggs up here. Just dropped them into the door mechanism. Shut it right down. I... Ah! Bird! 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 Okay. That's probably the bird in it that laid the eggs. Livid. Okay, look, the point is, we're gonna break out of here, alright? Very soon, I promise, I promise. I just have to figure out how to break us out of here. Here she comes. Keep te Just keep testing. Remember, you never saw me. Never saw me. I went and spoke with the door mainframe. Let's just say he won't be, well, living anymore. Anyway, back to testing. Well done. In fact, you did so well, I'm going to note this on your file, in the commendation section. Oh, there's lots of room here. Did well. Enough. This next test involves turrets. You remember them, right? 
They're the pale spherical things that are full of bullets. Oh wait, that's you in five seconds. Good luck. Please put me down. Critical error. Thank you. 